Okay, Rich, what are we playing this week then? So this week I thought we'd attempt to complete Quack Shot for the Sega Mega Drive. So this is a platform game released in 1991 by Sega for the system. And it's got a lot of sort of simplistic action-adventure game elements added to it as well. Have you got any experience with the game at all? I kind of remember it, but I'm not overly sure. Yeah, you might have been around here when I've been playing it, to be honest. Mm, okay. Do you want to try it out then? Yeah, let's go for it. Start. This is very reminiscent of the Illusion series, isn't it? Yeah. It's actually made by the same people. Oh. All this series were like explicitly the part of the same series in Japan as well. Oh, cool. So this was I Love Donald, mm. whilst uh, Castle Illusion was I Love Mickey. Oh, so they were I Love series and, over and Yeah. So you sort of choose which level you want to go to, and you actually have to keep coming back to the levels as well. Some of the levels you, you get blocked off if you don't have certain abilities. Okay. So like I said, it's a platform game, so you've got a jump button, you've got a shoot button, which um, it just freezes the enemy for a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. so it doesn't kill anything. Uh, if you hold down and press jump, you do the skid, mm -hmm. which is a little bit faster than uh, the normal walking speed. Okay. And you've also got a run button here, which is sort of more like a brisk walk button, really, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a brisk walk button. <laughs> So this is what I was saying about the adventuring aspects here. Yeah. So we can't climb up there yet because we don't have the correct power up. Okay. But as soon as these uh, flags are planted, you can basically call the aeroplane, yeah. leave the screen. You can come back to this point afterwards, so you don't have to redo it. Okay. What's the jump button again? Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, those ice creams give you health back. The game's got unlimited continue, so it shouldn't really give us any difficulties. Okay. Unless it crashes, of course. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's what happened with the Lucky Dime Cable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Remember? I do remember. So they could have called it Plunger of Illusion or something. <laughs> Plunger of Illusion? Thank God you're not on the marketing <laughs> team. I don't know you need to get a special key to get in these ruins. It seems it's bored with them, but build it. It's called the Hero Key. Thank you, sweet senorita. So now we'll go to call the airplane. This guy might give us something now. Oh. Ah, right, so he's going to give us the hero key. So and we can now, yeah. we can go back to, what's it? The pyramid level. Yeah. Okay, so go to that, use, that's it. Quite simple adventuring elements, yeah. but they're quite nice, they're nice little yeah. addition, really. That's the game flow. There's definitely more to this game than Castle Oh, Ocean, a lot there. more. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no, Goofy. Gosh. <laughs> Goofy's so annoying. Uh. Goofy's great. Shut up. Yeah. Jar Jar Binks is based on Goofy, you know. Get and Jar Jar Binks is great. <laughs> sure is. Mr. Jar Jar Binks! <laughs> Mr. Jar Jar Binks! <laughs> what? what did he just give us? I don't know. Red plungers, I think. So now you can hit the enemies and you can use the plungers to climb, basically. Excellent. Which is required to get over some obstacles. So it is like a proper sort of simple action-adventure game, really, isn't it? There's even like... Oh. Oh yeah, you can do it like that, I guess. Hmm. There's even backtracking, obviously, at this section here. Boss time. Annoying things all in the way all the time. He's invincible. Probably not safe to do what I just did there, to be honest. Ah. 
Silk Steer. So now we've got to go to Egypt Wiper Tea. <laughs> I've got a suspicion that this actually opens up that Viking ship level again. What? I think it goes into the thing. You know, it up the Sphinx sure. Tear. I mean, what are you smoking? You've got to press start, yeah. <laughs> what are you smoking? Just run through this fast, because loads of flames will appear, but you've got to keep moving. That's it. Easy. And you got to go as fast. And jump and plunger. I think it's too late, actually, to be honest. Yeah. No. Squished. I'm going to get squished again. What? i done that pretty fast. <laughs> do you want me to do it? Yeah, go on. We've got one life left. <laughs> Donald looks really grumpy. Yeah. Disney always. No. So you use a key to open this lock, Chris. You, you fucking knew that, you prick. So now we can fire these ones as well. And hold on to them. You can hold on to them. You can control them as well a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so like I was saying earlier, um, this game's made by the same people. I've got the wrong way. Oh, no, I'm all right. This game's made by the same people as the um, Castle of Illusion series. Mm. And the main designer, she actually went on to... Um, work on the Kingdom Hearts games as well. Oh. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Don't know why the airplane couldn't do that, but you know. <laughs> Can you go into that section? That's what you needed. Oh, just the Viking Diary. Cool. So now I've got to get back to Civilization, which is probably up here. Uh, what? Little cutscene. Fuck them. Yeah. Get some more nephews. <laughs> uh, I guess I jump on them. Yeah, they come back in again. Is there anything up there? No. Let it bring you back in. Yeah. You got that down. Oh, you got Played fluke for. in there. Played for? What are you talking about fluking? I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. Relax. What you have to do is you have to shoot it and then jump to the top and then jump across, basically. What? So shoot from the bottom. Then get to there and then land on the plunger from jumping from there, right, I believe. Okay. Gotcha. This is going to be tricky. Actually, you might be able to do it from there. If I do it from here and I shoot at the last second, give it more time, less time to time out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. how do I beat him? He gets into a machine and you just got to shoot him in the, in the head, I think. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, these annoying dudes are all over the place. Very dark. Mm -mm. Don't like this. <laughs> He's going up. Come back down. Uh, uh, <laughs> Fuck it, on a. Oh, you piece of shit. I'm going to come up actually because I think he's going. <laughs> Got him. This bit. I hate this bit. But how do you know which where's the one the one that's gonna spawn? What? How? Okay. <laughs> Walk to the edge of the block so you see where the next one spawns. No, maybe it's up and left. Maybe it's just a complete jumping. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Most of them are actually just in front of you by the same distance. Still, come on. Final boss. He's a nice Templar. Oh, she just got 
stabbed. <laughs> Sword through the face. Right. Look out for falling blocks. <sighs> Here he comes. Now hit him. He embedded it in the wall when that made it. Oh, I didn't want to jump it. I was so there. scared here. Yeah, I don't want to do it. It's up to you. You'd probably do it actually because it's not that difficult. Stay up there until he throws the sword. I think maybe he only throws it like right that. Now get down there. Shoot him. I've dodged that. This should be able to do this. He'll raise the sword and now go left. And stick to the very left. No. Oh, no, you're never going to. Maybe you can stick inside actually. You'd stick inside him. So they, I think they fall based on where you're standing, so you can skid under them when they do that sometimes. So I was thinking maybe that I was safe on the far left, but obviously not. Oh, I was trying to do it without losing any health. Mm, well, there you were. <laughs> oh, no, it's not dead yet. <laughs> oh dear. It looks pretty nice though, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so ungrateful, isn't she? She's got a freaking statue. Yeah. It looks exactly like... Oh. Okay. <laughs> no space for the nephews this time. <laughs> So you're just going to fly across all the different environments yeah. now. Okay, Rich, what do you think of the game then? I think this is quite a nice little platformer, actually. I definitely think this is an improvement over Cast of Illusion, which was sort of a lot more sort of straightforward than this game, wasn't it? Mm. There wasn't all of the little elements with the puzzles and the uh, the adventuring aspects. So this does the platforming elements quite well. It's got all of the basics of platforming down to a T, and it has some little other little elements as well going for it, like the plungers and such, where you create your own platforms effectively you've got the minecart sections you've got the rail sections where you're zooming along sort of jumping from rail to rail so it does sort of the foundation platforming very well and then on top of that you have these action adventure aspects which also are quite good as well fairly simple and easy to understand but uh, they work well i think the boss fights are okay as well they're not bad are they mm -hmm. i think actually that's one that's probably the only area where cast of illusion beats i think the mm -hmm. cast of illusion boss fights were generally a little bit more interesting the uh, the music and sound is always great for these disney games on the yeah. mega drive you know they do they do do a good job with that um you know graphically it's got good animation it's a fairly colorful game it's very obviously it sort of feels disney it has that disney feel doesn't it you mm -hmm. know so what do you think of the game then yeah no i think it's absolutely excellent uh it does everything that a platformer should do graphically very very nice lovely backgrounds lo lovingly drawn yeah lots, lots of great colors different environments to mm -hmm. explore and such as yeah. well yeah it's very detailed in certain places i mean when on the egyptian level you've got all the hieroglyphs in the wall which is yeah. very detailed very nice Musically, it's exactly what you expect from Disney. It's really nice, but I'm going to say that Castle of Illusion has a better music. It's yeah. just more stand out for me. I can remember Castle of Illusion's music now. I'm having trouble remembering the music from that yeah, one separate music. Yeah, I would music. agree with you there, actually. Um, but it's all in all a great game. Really enjoyable and probably the best of the, the Disney games across yeah. the Mega Drive. All in all, a great game fun experience to have especially for the younger younger gamer it's yeah. a good little entry into platforming an adventure amalgamated together so what are you going to score it then rich well this is 1991 so it's coming out the same year as sonic the hedgehog and the game that we played recently mystical ninja as well which yeah. we gave a five out of five to mm -hmm. it's also um you know not quite a year later, I think, but the, the year after Super Mario World, Act Razor. And I don't feel that this is actually on par with those games, really, to be mm -hmm. honest. But I do think that it's very good, and it's definitely well above average. Yeah. So I'm going to give the game a 4 out of 5. Yeah. 
What do you reckon then? Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think you're basically on the same wavelength as I am. It's not as good as those games we mentioned previously, but it's a damn good game. Yeah. It's just not quite there for a five, so a very high four for me as well. Okay, guys, that's Quack Shot for this week. A really, really good game. So if you liked it, guys, give us a like. Give us a comment and tell us what you think about the game. And subscribe to the channel because we're always releasing great new content like this. And we'll see you next week with another game, guys. Take care. See ya.